Meet 25-year-old Anthony Caranu who opened three big salons in less than two years. Where did it all start? Anthony's journey started when he left Eldoret County, his hometown to Mombasa County, where his business journey began. When Anthony got to Mombasa he decided to stay at a friend's place for a week. During his normal strolls, he came across a beauty college and he felt he wanted to enroll and do a short course. However, after he got there and saw the workers, he realized that what they were doing is something he could do. He changed his mind and told them he was looking for a job. As a form of an interview, he was given a client to fix her dreadlocks and he did a really good job. That's how he got the job earning a salary of $48.04 per month. However, after a few months, his boss realized he was only good at fixing locks and asked him to quit or earn a commission-based salary. That's how he quit his first job. It was Anthony's dream to always venture into the beauty industry. In his quest to find a place where his skills were appreciated, he moved from salon to salon. Working for a few months in every salon which lasted a total of two years. His breakthrough came when he got to the fourth salon. It is at this place where the owner gave him a working station for which he paid $64.05 per month. He learned the power of social media here and that's when he started posting the work he had done on Facebook and Instagram. This is where he started to build his name and got lots of clients. His boss later told him that he needed to get another working station since his clients were very many. Anthony got another working station and had to pay more than the rest because he had a lot of clients. This is when he employed a shampoo girl and he realized he could actually manage a team. After five months he opened a small salon from the savings he had made in all his past jobs, where he later employed four people. Fast forward Anthony is the owner of Minto's Saloon which is in both Mombasa and Nairobi with over 50 employees. What was his initial starting capital? Anthony, can't give a clear figure because he first started with one working station which he would pay $64.05 per month and later scaled. However, Starting a standard executive barbershop in Kenya would cost you about $1,602. If you have a low budget you can start a small barbershop with less than $240.19 from your savings or from a loan, anywhere in Kenya. Where did he get the capital to start and scale? Anthony started with his savings and still scaled using his savings. He always reinvested his money into the business. By the time the COVID-19 pandemic struck, Karanu had employed 30 staff who worked in his two saloons in Mombasa. In 2021 when the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic eased, Karanu opened a new branch in Nairobi along Kamathi Street. I feel more motivated when I see young people employed and working hard. I want to create as many jobs as possible for future generations, he says. What equipment will you need to start the business? Anthony advises to start with small, basic equipment as you test the waters. The more the business peaks the more you add standard equipment. Here are the basics you may need. Two salon chairs. Comb. Elastics, normal rubber elastic or latex elastic. Hair clip. Crotchet hook. Dreadlock shampoo. Lock gel or spray. Locally made sink seat. Hair dryer. Water heating and storage small basins, backup generator, entertainment system, two waiting or lounge chairs, equipment sterilizer, carpenter to carry out a basic shop fit out. This may include installing mirrors and cabinets as well as painting the shop. On average carpentry, labor costs $8.01 per day. The entire project may take three days and therefore you should budget for $120.10 or thereabout. Where does he get his clients? Anthony says he has harnessed the power of social media. Most of his clients have seen his works on social media and reached out to him. He also gets clients from referrals. Anthony has managed to gunner over 40,000 followers on Instagram and 11,000 on Facebook. How much to expect from the business? On average a well-performing business can give a net profit of 30% of total investment per month. High-end executive barbershops charge $8.01 to $12.01 for dreadlock retouching and $80.06 to $120.10 for a fresh installation. 
low-income areas charge between $4.00 to $8.01 for retouching and $40.03 to $80.06 for a fresh installation. What are some of the challenges? Anthony feels the major challenge was getting clients in the beginning. It might take a few months to reach a peak. But, once it peaks and you have a loyal clientele, you are good to go. With time, your business will expand in terms of profit, capacity, and personnel. What is his advice? Always do some research before venturing into any business. Since I was not born and raised here in Mombasa, when I ventured into the beauty industry, I saw a huge gap in the dreadlocks services. Only one barbershop was doing dreadlocks in the area, so I knew that it was a good business opportunity, he says. Harness the power of social media to build a clientele. Always treat each customer like royalty every time they step into your shop. Good customer service, neatness, good hygiene and reliability are just but a few qualities you should adopt to woo more loyal followers. Get a permit slash license. For such a shop, you need a single business permit. The cost of the permit varies from county to county and also depends on the size of your barbershop and where it's located. For a small barbershop, you could pay as low as $24.02, or as higher as $56.04. It is good to visit your county council offices or e-citizen to check the requirements for acquiring a license. Register your business name and then apply for your license on either. Additionally, if you will be playing music in your barbershop, you will need a music copyright license from MCSK. The MCSK license goes for $16.01 annually. Find a good location. How much you pay for a shop will depend on the size and location. For example, if you want to open your barbershop in an urban residential area, you will probably pay between $40.03 to $120.10. In rural areas, you will get shops for less than that a common range being between $16.01 to $40.03. If it's you doing the business, start with what you are skilled at. In this case, Anthony was good at installing dreadlocks and that was the model of his business before he expanded to other things such as braiding slash cornrows, hair relaxing, pedicures, manicures, facials, body scrub and body massage, permanent makeup services, such as ombre brows, microblading brows, lip blush and stretch marks cover. The other option that the majority go for is employing a trained person in the job you want them to do. I never attended any beauty school, this is a self-taught art. Says Anthony. One good thing about this business is that it is not seasonal. Business flows in, as usual, come rain come shine. This makes it a worthwhile venture to delve into. You can simply use your entrepreneurial prowess to start, then train a few young men from your area and recruit them to work for you. That way you'll not only have established a source of livelihood for yourself but also help create employment for deserving young men and women. I hope this video has been helpful and if not to you, you never know who it might help. Sharing is caring. Till next time goodbye and good luck.